What's good, y'all? Chris from DraftKingsCaseBreaks.com coming with another 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Case Break. We went to number four this time. Did a team random and a giveaway before this, so we're all set to go. Here is our case. Here is our sheet. So thanks again, everyone. Matthew from the D-backs all the way down to Matt and the Nationals. Thanks again, y'all. Appreciate you. Let's just get into it. Real quick, to get inventory out. Football was over at 1 p.m. for me, so let's put the Dodger game on finally. We have Hobby Case Break 5 and 6 on the side right now, and then 6, 7, and 8 on the Jumbos right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Two, two, top nine. Max Muncy's going deep here, calling my shots. Let's do some smushing. It's giving smushing. I think box of four, boxes of four took a little too much time last time. So I'm gonna hop on with a three. Uh, I will do it, Peter, if it sells out. We've got uh, 10 more straight-up spots the last time I checked about 10 minutes ago. And then the one get, uh, space, space filler. That's the word. One space that we're doing for it as well. It's that prestige football. So once we rock and roll on those, I said earlier, uh, I will stay here all night if I have to. I know I've got one more jumbo to do after this on the case break for the Topps Chrome. I would love to do an Immaculate. I don't think any teams have sold today, though. There might be a filler involved with it, though. Um, but I will stick around to do stuff. I'll be back tomorrow again as well. Uh, same deal. I am a degenerate, so I will stay late and do stuff if there is interest. Bigger to max. Do not swing here. Octavio Dotel will not throw strikes. There it is. That's an Octavio Dotel. This is Camilla Duvall. Close. And our last hobby case break, that's where we hit the, whew, that's where we hit the Bobby Witt red. Let's see if we can get a, uh, I mean, we got the red, why not ask for the one? Let's get the super. Let's go to, let's get a j Rock. let's get a Torque, let's get a CJ Abrams, a Hunter Green, it don't matter. No, I'm not, I'm not selfish, you know, I'm not asking for too much for the people. Let's see if we can get one of those cool little patches. We've done a hobby and a jumbo case break today with none of the patches or patch autos. So I want to rock and roll on one. I want to see it. I want to pull it for someone. Tops, I'll do me a flavor and oblige. I know you're tired of loving 
Dang, dang, dang. Got a leadoff walk and then we shut out twice here at Max on first. He's the go-ahead run in the top of the ninth in San Francisco. 2-2 two, two, Dodgers Giants. There we go. It's our first three boxes. 
let's get started. Thanks again, y'all. Good luck. JT Real Muto, Purple Speckle for the Phillies. That's going to Nelson. 140 out of 299. Uh huh, honey. First auto, Alex Wells. That's going to the Baltimore Orioles. That's going to Jose Jr. Got some gold. Connor Siebel, gold rookie auto for the Boston Red Sox. It's going to Burke. We're kind of nice jumbo case break. Now hopping over to the hobby. 31 out of 50 on the Connor Siebold gold rookie auto. Oh no, Craig Kimball's in a tie ball game. I don't know if that's the right idea. Those are the two autos of that box. We'll have one more stack to go from it though. Let's rock it. Right here. Brendan Marsh. Now in the Phillies. Negative Matt Manning. Nice little rookie pitcher for the Tigers. They have a, a few things to work on, but I think they're pitching, at least from a starting standpoint, is pretty decent. Matt Manning, Casey Mize last year, along with Terry Schoolbull. Um, they have Spencer Turnbull's a pretty decent pitcher for them as well. Matt Manning has been uh, dealing with injuries this year, but he's been pretty good when healthy. That's going to the Detroit Tigers. That's going to Paul. Paul got that break credit. And turned around and full. Nice. All right, here we go. Box number two now. Hugh Darvish, Teal for the Padres. Going to Matthew S. 184 out of 199. On your cruise. Teal of uh, Ryan Velotti. A rookie auto for the Rockies. Travis Neat. 101 out of 199. Did I? Let's go through again. You know what? I think I do see it. You're right. My bad. It's an Anthony Bender. Thank you, Emery. Appreciate you, man. Here you go. Anthony Bender, rookie auto for the pitchers. My apologies, y'all. Miami Marlins going to Matthew S. Nationals Juan Soto. I think it's so odd how Tops will do some of their uh, their designations for autos. There are some boxes and some products. Like the one I can think of off the top of my head is like Tops Finest Soccer. They're either I don't know. I feel like I've done like a case of those on the YouTube, on the Instagram side, and it's either first pack in or like fifth pack. And they're always like that. It's so odd. And for the Topps Chrome Baseball, hey, they do not care. 
They're gonna do whatever they feel like doing. Just Terry Worker Refractor. Our negative, another solid, solid pitcher. Garrett Cole, Yankees. That's going to Jose Jr. Quietly, once again, just putting up another Cy Young caliber season. Garrett Cole has just been a top five pitcher in baseball for the last like four or five years. He's really good. He better. Or maybe we're going some John Bender. I don't want to mess with you, man. Oh, Breakfast Club action. One of my all-time favorite movies. All right, let's do box tree now. Quick and easy, just like that. Curvin Castro, rookie auto for the Giants. That's going to Steven C. We love the, the hand number on the signature. We love that. IKF upside down. Not a short print. Mookie Betts upside down. That is not a short print. All right, guys, interesting. Like I said, those cats at, to those cats at tops, they're, uh, they're an interesting bunch. Gives it away, but... Patrick Wisdom, purple auto for the Cubbies, going to Brian C. Having another nice power season. I've heard that the Cubs are uh, 45 out of 250, by the way. I heard the Cubs are interested in like spending this offseason. I think they know the Central Box are good. Juan Soto, pink speckle. Nationals edition this time, though. Nationals going to Matt Arnold. 142 out of tree fitting. And a green Jose Abreu. All the parallels coming up quick now. Jose Abreu, 2020 AL MVP. 59 out of 99. Yeesh. Man, let's stay safe. I can't... I mean, maybe it's because I'm blessed with being where I'm from, but I can't imagine storms. And everything that people are having elsewhere in mid September. Maybe it's that's just I'm being spoiled. But hey, Los Angeles is great. Yeah, man, I think they can I don't I'm not gonna say they can compete, but they can start Putting in some uh, some nice signings on some vets, some nice you know, some nice leadership pieces. It's crazy, man. I I think uh, signing some guys like uh, I think Carlos Rodon is a free agent. He can help teach some of these youngsters a bit while also being Carlos Rodon. He's been really nice the last couple of years. Yeah. Wisdom, Castro. Okay. Maybe it's because I don't know. I don't, you know. I don't witness them enough, but I feel like I do appreciate a storm. It's somewhat relaxing. It's somewhat soothing. If you're inside, at least, obviously. I'm not going to speak on have, enjoying a storm on the outskirts. So there's number three. Next three. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're going to be after, like, some pretty good names. And they're not going to be incredible next year. I mean, I guess I don't think unless some of your young guys really figure things out early on. Christopher Morrell becomes, like, a five-war player. And you guys call up guys like uh, Pico Armstrong and all that. But, I mean, they're going to be an interesting team next year if they happen to sign some people. And if not... I equate them to being kind of like the Padres. Like, 
the Padres are pretty mediocre for a long time. And then out of nowhere, they started trying to sign people. Like, they signed, uh... Who am I trying to think of? Uh, besides, the, obviously, like, signing Manny Machado. But even then, like, the Padres were not great when that happened. But, you know, they, they put the effort in, and they got a big, big name and a big, big bat, and it shows the rest of the league that, hey, yeah, we're willing to spend. Like, you, like that should entice you to think about coming over here. Oh, scary. Watching them stamp. Jeez. Oh, See, I don't know about all that. I don't know if that's worth it. I think that's a little spooky. But I've also never been in front or even seen a tornado, so I wouldn't know how dangerous they are. But I'm sure it's like a mild tornado, right? 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 Don't tell me you're standing in front of an active, pretty decently strength tornado just for clout, you know? I think it'd be pretty wild. Perfect. Perfect bunt, Austin Barnes. Gets the guy over to third. It's belly. He's got wheels. A sack fly can score him. I think this is a short pack. So I'm assuming one of these future packs will have a five card. Exactly. And even, even if you don't, you know, at least try. Like, how... Like, I feel like a lot of teams respect, a lot of front offices at least, respect the Cardinals. The Cardinals may not always sign the big names, but they're always active on them. Yeah, like they're like last year, they were active on Scherzer, they were active on Rodon. You can go back to like every free agency. They were active on Bryce. I guarantee you they'll be active on Aaron Judge. Like they they go out and they actually try. Like that's it's very impressive what they. I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying and not succeeding. If at the very least, you're trying. I mean, obviously, there are teams that are stupid, like the Angels. But they try. I can't fault the Angels. Because, yeah, they may be stupid. But they at least care. They care enough to, to give guys these stupid deals. Like, you know who I thought won the offseason last year for the same reason? The Mariners. Going out and signing Robbie Ray, you know. They were they were they were tied to Chris Bryant, who signed with the Rockies, and maybe a good thing for them that he didn't sign with them. But I guarantee you he would have succeeded in a lineup like this. They go trade for Eugenio Suarez and Jesse Winker. Like, they actually care. And don't be surprised to see them be connected to Edwin Diaz, former Mariner, when he's a free agent this year. They're going to try. They know that they're not 100% there yet, but they can go sign people who can do it. They've got Luis Castillo now, who's a legit ace, along with Robbie Ray. They've got a young starter in Logan Gilbert. They've got guys coming up. Like, there's no reason why other teams can't be doing that. Stay fair. Let's go. Mookie Betts. Plus 8,500, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not saying anything you don't already know. Just because I haven't seen one, does anyone know if Wander is a redemption or is live with his autos in here? That's the one I swear I have not seen. Moves the guy over to third. I just missed that. I 
I haven't even seen a parallel of Mookie, or Mookie, of, of Wander. Here, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, anywhere. I just... You want, I mean, you want to talk about a hard pull. A Wander auto. I swear, I mean, I've seen, like, us pull, like, numerous patch autos and autos of him from Immaculate. You know? Those are redemptions. I know that. But I haven't seen anything about him in the tops. Here's our sixth box. We'll get to pulling out some of these. Redemption on eBay? I thought so. He was a redemption in, uh... So it was, he, had, he had some redemptions in the Series 1. I think it was the 1987s? I think those were, uh... Redemptions. But that's not too surprising. So that's another one to look out for. Another redemption. What was our first one? It was, uh... Brandon Marsh. This is a thicky. I think we finally got... I don't think we did. I thought we got... No, this is just a seven card pack. All right. This one's thick. This one, super thin. I'd be surprised if this was one card. <laughs> it is. Just Nelson Cruz. <laughs> Tops, you are very funny. I'd be pretty bummed if I got a one card pack just from a, you know, I'm at my hobby shop. Also, you can feel, like, you know something's up. If you, you can feel a one card pack. It felt like the, uh, the National and Father's Day pack from Panini. That's what it felt like. for the patch. Oh, he is continuing. Here, then we're going to get to uh, showing off. This is boxes four, five, and six from our hobby case. Here we go. Good luck. Yeah, they look pretty good. <laughs> they look pretty good, don't they? Bryce Harper, pink, out of three ninety nine, going to the Fighting Phils, going to Nelson. Our first parallel from that stack was uh, from those first boxes was actually JT Realmente. So we keep it going with the Phillies parallels for Nelson. First auto, Tyler Gilbert for the D-backs of Matthew Shirai. There it is. It's Wander. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Bengals do not worry me. The Ravens do. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. We did just pass it. Roman Gonzalez. Rookie auto for the White Sox. I think that is my problem with these. Is that I'm used to that white area. Like right here where the auto should be. And it's just the gray. So Roman Gonzalez for the White Sox. One of our teams that we gave away. But let's go into John. It was, uh, it was said perfectly earlier today. The uh, Bengals and Rams looking like a Super Bowl hangover, man. It's legit. John Gray, teal for the Rangers. It's going to Brady. 185 out of 199. Autos in that box. Dunzos. Whoa! Is that my guy, Josh? My man. How you doing? I'm I'm on I'm only here because of you. You did this. What's going on, my guy? Whew. All right. First box down. Let's grab the second box. Good. Hey, man, looking looking good, looking sharp. Always out doing something, living your life, man. Happy for you. You deserve it. Holy hell. Yeah, I, I, am, I got the Dodger game on. I couldn't even watch. Well, I appreciate you, my guy. Let's wander classics. Thanks, so Neil. The other, it's it's crazy. They, honest to God, might break the win record. Everybody in this lineup, man. All the pitchers. Well, everyone not named. Craig Kimball. But here we go. Riley Adams. I know, I know it's, you know, not the biggest name in the world, but this is a handsome card right here for the Washington Nationals. It's going to Matt. That's crazy. And I, didn't, and I don't know if... I don't know Tony Gonson was capable of this, you know? Julio's going to win the Cy Young. I think Mookie's going to steal the MVP. But people in here know about that. They know how I feel about Mookie winning the MVP. It's just crazy. Brennan Lau for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to go to Jeremy P. A nice teal. 144 out of 199. He's got another good looking signature too, Brandon Lau. A little underrated, I think, among second baseman. Nice one there. Don't be so... I'm telling you, man. If Mookie gets the 40 home runs out of the leadoff spot with the defense he's been playing. I'm just saying. Trey Ambergi in the pink speckle. It's out of 350. For the Reds, a little one. Bookend there. One for Jeff Gordon. My favorite name. Paul Goldschmidt, though. What a story that's been, huh? Out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere, but winning, having an MVP caliber season like he's having at, what, 33? That's not really how that's not really how that's supposed to work. 131 out of 199. Uh, just a Bobby Witt red rookie auto, 5 out of 5. Just that. Just that in the first box in the first case today. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy, I guess. Insane. He's just, he's been absolutely insane. All right. That was box five. 
Let's get the box six. Spencer Watkins on the Chrome Refractor Rookie Auto for the Baltimore Orioles. Going to Jose Jr. Early bird spot in the team random giveaway. Yeah, I know, man. Oof. 416 out of 499. My my biggest baseball hit ever. Not 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 up for debate. It's like your Mullins refractor in there. Whew. I got you know, I got one in me usually. Second auto, Hans Kraus for the Phillies. Another one going to the Phillies, another one going to Nelson. Hans Kraus rookie auto. Have you gotten any tops chrome yet, Josh? You you've been ripping anything? For funsies, for flipping, for Percy, whatever it may be. Got some gold. Harrison Bader. Cardinals gold edition. Eight out of fifty. St. Louis Cardinals. That's going to Matthew Nielsen. Ooh, very nice. The Marvel stuff can be the ones that are killer. It's crazy. Nice. I have to send some stuff in. Last little stack here, box six. Luis Robert Classics. You know, it's it's becoming you know not horrible on some of their return on the time at least. Coach Springer, nineteen eighty seven. Classics Cunha. I do want to do a little research. How many, uh, how many Heart of the Cities and everything are no longer with their team? I know Hater. I know Freddie Freeman. I know Matt Olson. But like you know, who else is rocking in the Heart of the City insert set? And are just no longer there. For dude, just trust me. I feel that. Let's grab our next tree. Seven, eight, and nine. Why is six or five or seven? I respect people who, who... I get so lazy, man, so I respect everyone who just, you know actually does their due diligence on the eBay's. I, uh, I was... I was going to say dumb. I was irresponsible, It's a better word for it, with my money on Friday. And I got an immaculate for myself. It was actually pretty decent. So, but I just now have to do all the listing. This is not fun. What was the final score? I don't. I I turned the game off. It wasn't very. It wasn't. It's been besides the Ravens Dolphins. Like I wasn't really too hyped about these games. They weren't like man. Patriots Steelers don't want to talk about it. Colts and Jags. That game was not good. Twenty seven ten. For for your Sunday night game, like I don't know, just like not. I wasn't, you know, not not too. It should be a, it should be a big game, obviously, but it didn't really feel too crazy. How about the Jags shutting out uh, the Colts? Not great for my Jonathan Taylor fantasy team. Uh, I did a Macula baseball. We got a Macula here, so I did a personal bit. I came in on my off day and got an Macula baseball. Nice little Paul Goldschmidt bat auto to uh, fifteen. Take that. Cool little Eli, Eli Morgan patch. Um, I don't, it wasn't Ellie De La Cruz, but it was another Reds prospect. Got his patch out a lot of like 50. It was a pretty decent little box. I you know, made my money back. That's all I really care about. It's fun, you know. 
I think the Immaculate is so much fun. I would love to get the Immaculate wrong. I think we have a filler out for it right now on the site for uh, an eight box case break. Exactly. The Goldie definitely helped. <laughs> the Goldie helped for sure. But you know, the last card on the box is supposed to be your best one anyway. That's the whole point. I'm excited for uh, for NT Baseball though. NT Baseball should have a lot of the big the big kids sitting in there. Look at, look at Andre Jackson. See if we can pull some Andre Jackson here. He's closing out the game for the Dodgers. That's box one. Let's be let me stack these up here. Let me be smart about this. I, you know, I've seen plenty of, uh, honestly, not this year. I, I mean, I've seen Immaculate Boxes in the past not be so great. Um, but I think that's just because we had to wait and see what these kids were from last year. But I'm pretty, I like this year's Immaculate. It's, I uh, love the Shadow Boxes. Uh, there's been, like, I feel like at least a couple of the, the big patches. Like, you know, the, the team logos and the brands, like, at least here. Like, I feel like we've been pretty good. With the Immaculate so far. And they got some good cases. Teddy's been doing some some sweet ones. Jason's been doing some sweet ones, you know. A little professional envy never hurt anyone, you know. And Andre Jackson has walked someone. Now the go-ahead play. Go-ahead runs up at the point. Come on, Andre. So I think I'm on pace to finish this break around 8.45. So we'll do 8.45 to like 8.50ish. We will do some break credit giveaway, y'all. How about that? Second half of the night. No breaks needed. No breaks wanted. Except for the ones that we're doing right now. So 8.45, 8.50, we'll do some break credit right after this break. Get some spots and some fillers. I know people have been asking about the Prestige and for the Hit Parade. I know people have been asking about some Immaculate earlier. So I'm going to get the ball rolling on some of these breaks, y'all. JackSonCaseBreaks.com. We can get the ball rolling with that break credit. A little push to get some stuff finished up. Like I said, I'm going to be here all night. I'll be rocking and rolling. I don't give a spit, you know. I'll, I do not care. <laughs> Rex, if you, man, if you double dip, there's, I, I can't protect you from what happens with the people. I can't. They're going to do what they're going to do, and I, and it's not going to be on my hands. I wash, I wash my hands of it, Rex. You be careful out there. She belonged to the streets. It was, uh, he can't, like I said, he can't keep getting away with it. It's, it's unfathomable to me. Paying people off, Rex, at the at the night pot. Oh no. And Jock. Oh Mook. Woo. Mookie. <laughs> I thought I thought Jock had maybe walked us off one time, but no. Woo! <laughs> I, I, I looked up for literally a second. I saw the bat off the ball and how loud it got. I'm like, that well, that's it. Jock stuck a, stuck a knife through our heart roll one time. All right. Box is six, seven, or seven, eight, and nine. This is box nine. And then we'll show off a little bit, see what we got.
Everybody love me. Everybody love me. Everybody love me. You ain't messing with my doggy. All over, if you're in here. Do you have someone that you blame for today's game? Or is just it is it just a team effort thing? Do you think it's the coaching? Do you think it's the O line? Like like what like what do you think the problem was today? Because I, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna make Mitch the scapegoat. That's not too fair, even though you know how I feel about him. But like, how help help me understand. I know T, like, losing TJ, man, it this team is very different when he's off the field. But you know. Let me let me pick your brain, if you if you do not mind. And then what did you think about the Kenny chance? A couple different times, if y'all did not know. It was uh, pretty clear on the TV that there was some, some loud Kenny. 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 Chance. Matt Canada's got to go. He's He's got to go. It's it, watching. And there's obviously so much. That Mitch can do. He, I'm not, like, Mitch isn't an above average QB to me. I think he like he runs a smart game, but you know, like you said, it's Matt Canada, our offense, the offensive coordinator. He's just horrible. Doesn't know what he's doing. All right, let's go. Seven, eight, and nine here. Oh, did he really? Oh, that's a nice one right here. Or right, his first appearance, Spencer Strider, rookie auto for the Braves. Nice one here from Matthew S. Uh, my my prediction for NL Rookie of the Year. He's having a monster year. The fastest player ever to reach 200 strikeouts in a single season by innings. Having just a monster, monster year. It's a nice one. I mean, it's, pretty, it's very clear that the playbook sucks. It's all shovel passes. It's all checkdowns. Like it's it's. I mean, there you can work with your QBs as much as you want, but the play calling is just so atrocious. Another nice picture here. Logan Gilbert having a nice sophomore season. Let's go into the Seattle Mariners. That is going to Harry. Logan Gilbert, purple speckle auto, seventy out of two ninety nine. And the Chandler base last card in that pack. Gavin Sheets, Pink Speckle Rookie, 313 out of 350 for the White Sox. That's going to John R. I'm back out. Don't quite have the time to top over those parallels. I'll do this one, then. another gold. Trent Grisham with the Padres. That's going to Matthew S. 47 out of 50. Nice center fielder for the Padres. Classics Juan Soto. I, I need to check it out too. I did not know that. I pretty much started getting ready for for this after the game. I did uh, <laughs> not stick around. To, I was not too pleased. Am I 
tripping? My brain is not working the way it's supposed to. I, uh, for y'all's sake, I'm glad he's not here to watch that. That was, that was tough. Am I going crazy? I don't think I am. Okay. Oh, brother. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Oh, I mean, that's some some gutsy fourth quarter plays from Kyler. He, I mean, I don't know if they were the best decisions. Oh, these are all one stack now. I'm stupid. I remember now. I changed my method. Wander. Yeah, <laughs> not great. <laughs> not great for the Raiders. Nice O'Neal. Hey, am I allowed to say it? Are we sure that the AFC West is that good? Obviously, besides the Chiefs. The Chiefs are the standing. But, I mean, let's see how the Broncos play tomorrow, but... I mean, they looked rough in Seattle. Ivan Castillo, rookie auto for the Padres. Another one going to the Friars and Matthew S. Like, I don't know how good the Chargers are. I don't know how good the Raiders are. Are we sure that the vision's that tough? Am I assuming things in week two? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh yeah, they play today. Like, are we are we sure this division's good? Are they? All right. They won the deck. Yeah, they're one and one. Everyone but the no, Raiders are one too, which is bad for me. I, I needed the Raiders to be decent this year. Let me check here. No, okay. Oh, this bow might have been a short. It's not. Just a refractor. Hoy Park. Refractor rookie auto for the Pirates. That'll be numbered. 407 out of 499. Man, they look good, though. Offensively, they look insane, is what I should say. Defensively. I know the Ravens are very good offensively as well. Like, that was just going to be a shootout with those two. But I definitely question their defense. Nice. Blue color match on the Jacob deGrom for the New York Mets. Let's go into Emory. Best pitcher in the world. 69, nice, out of 75. We'll see you until next week. I don't I I rate the Ravens very highly, obviously. I think the Ravens are disgusting. Um, they are the team that has always worried me going into this year. I was not worried about the Bengals because they are the Bengals and the Browns are the Browns. But I mean I I I think Lamar is just an absolute monster. That dude is terrifying. And he had a heck of a game today too. First auto up quick, Lonnie Dawson. How's a Houston Astro? It's Jose Jr. Bang, bang. Who are the, who are the Dolphins playing next week?
Buffalo. Oof. Now there's your test. How for real are you? I think he should get traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that'd be very cool. Matt Olson, pink speckle. Well, not pink speckle, just a pink. At a tree ninety nine for the Oakwood days. That's gonna go to Jonathan B. Wander. I think they should do it. I think that'd be very cool and very funny. You tell me they don't want Mitch Trubisky and and picks? I think they should take that. I think that's a good deal. Nice, that's Cedric Mullins. Nice vet auto all star last year, thirty thirty season for the Baltimore Orioles once again. Jose Junior, that early bird spot paying off. One hundred one out of four ninety nine on the Cedric Mullins refractor auto. That's a big surprise. I I'm I'm glad that Saquon's looking good. I like Saquon. I think he's a good kid. I think he's electric as hell. Oh, you gotta give me that pitch blue. Last little stack here. Green Raphael Devers. No. No. 53 out of 99 for Raphael Devers on the Red Sox. That's gonna Burke. So 845, 850 is where we're looking here. So uh, in about 15 minutes or so, we're doing some break credit. Break credit, y'all. Right after this break. <sighs> no, I can't give. I cannot give up TJ. But I guess that's the whole problem with trading in your division, yeah? Is that I don't want to ever see TJ in another uniform. Let alone see him in a Ravens uniform. Look, I don't know if Kenny is, is the answer. And I know that next year's draft is pretty loaded on QBs, right? Like it's, it's supposed to be I don't, hopefully another 2021 draft situation where it's just all these monsters. But I that's the whole point. Is I think we just need to see... We just need to see Kenny Flynn. I know. What if they... What if we offered them... Kenny. And... I'm just... I was going to make a stupid little, like, Madden trade. Like, you know. Whatever it takes for the, the CPU and Madden to take the trade. So it'd be like... It'd be like Kenny... The first pick and, like... Tremaine Edmonds. Or, like, Miles Jack. They, the Ravens would do that in Madden. That's a great trade. That's pretty true. And they've got a pretty good young core as well, yeah? They still got DK. Man, DK and Lamar Jackson. Ooh, that's an athletic one too right there. Just those two running around like it's nothing. That's right. Even the other secondary guys like Dwayne Eskridge. You know, there are still pieces on that team. And they can probably draft someone too to immediately help out. Like who who else could trade for 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 Lamar? Seahawks. I don't know who else really. I feel like the Falcons could make a deal. If you're really not a believer in Desmond Ritter, Minnesota is a good one too, Diego. Nice, yeah. 
I feel like that's going to be a very interesting situation. But hey, whatever gets no more out of this division, I'll be fine. He's a very scary man. Alright, this is boxes 10, 11, and 12 that we're ripping open. We got a few more top loaders. No, that would be so unfair. <laughs> Brady retires, and then they just sign and trade for Lamar. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. What is your problem, Diego? Why would you say that? We're going to lose this game, aren't we? Should set us up for the rest of the night. I could be wrong though. I would want, I mean, as someone who, you know, it's, it's hashtag good for the hobby, like Joe says, I would like to see Kyle Trask get some shine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now that, that's a winner right there. I like that. Make the Panthers fun. They deserve it, man. They've, they've, they've been dealt a rough hand since Cam left. I would love the Panthers to be good. Great uniforms. Run CMC. No way! It's foul, it's foul, it's foul, it's foul. Ooh. I wouldn't, honest to God, I just, I wouldn't be shocked if they just put him in ice until, like, January and December, until he was, like, 50. Like, I could see them doing, like, I, I honest to God, I could see him playing until 50. You need to give him just about the greatest offensive line of all time, but I seriously wouldn't doubt. He could be great literally forever. He does seem. But uh, he didn't do, I mean, obviously, I don't think Tom Brady needs to do any preseason stuff. But he didn't do any training camp and preseason stuff, yeah? Big game. Let's go! There we go, Oliver. What if he retires mid-season? <laughs> Here's box off. There we go, baby. And then, like I said, after this, uh, after this break, after these three boxes, we're giving away break cards. I may put like a, a timer on myself. I may stay here until one, just because I know I'm gonna be here tomorrow. And I know that there's some stuff that people wanna break obviously tonight, but it's just, you know, it's just looking like a chrome metal. I'll check the orders when I'm done with the break credit obviously, but we may just be rocking on Tops Chrome Hobbies and Jumbos. Save some hit for you for tomorrow, some immaculate for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 
The only problem with setting up a cot in the back here is that there's not a cot with my wonderful, amazing, beautiful partner and a bowl of chicken katsu curry waiting for me at their place. You know, that's, that's not here. As much as I would love for it to be, it's not here. That's just my biggest problem. At the moment. Besides the stress and the anxiety and the not sleeping thing, that's my problem. I, you know, honest, honestly enough, like honestly God, we have a we have a couch in the uh, on on the store floor. That's like suit like underratedly comfortable. All of her can back it up, but oh there we go. Finally got some a patch. Haven't seen one of these things all dang day. And here we are now. But honestly, I would sleep on our little couch. It's cozy. It's comfy. I would be greeted by, you know, the Jaspies and and, and the cleaning crew on Monday morning, but. Have you sat in our on our couch in the uh, in the store floor, Oliver? I'm trying to prove a point here. The small little black leather couch. Yeah, the Jasper's couch. <laughs> oh my god! Do you think it's comfortable? I think it is. I, I honestly, God, I can pump out like a two or three hour nap in that on that thing. That's easy. All right, here we go. Start it off strong. There we go. There we go. See, Oliver gets it. Did it really? Joey Wendell on the Marlins. Uh, once again, Matthew S. Rolling. I love that couch. It's very comfortable. Nice Josh Lowe, purple rookie for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to Jeremy P. On that spot in the team random giveaway. Oh, would you look at that? We like that. 70 out of 250. I'm shocked it's not Eagles and Angels stuff, to be honest. All right. Our patch is coming up behind the Hongjin Ryu. Let's, uh, let's do the rest of these first. All right, behind the Hung Jun Ryu. Nice for my Dodgers. Walker Bueller Chrome Club Chrome Club Relics. The red. Nice refractor. Game use memorabilia. Nice white pouch there. One of my Dodgers. Kenneth B. One of the one of those teams that we gave gave up in the team random give. Very nice. Get well soon, bud. We miss you. We love we love a couch nap, you know. Falling asleep on the couch. Yes, sir. I've got a three box break. Let me check if it's already in here though. I think it is. I think it's the last of the case. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Nice. Our next auto. Low color match. Blue. Alfonso Rivas. For the Cubbies. That's going to Brian C. For his baseman. 94 out of 150 on the Alfonso Rivas rookie auto. I think we're due for a, rook, a big rookie auto. Pick up 
Pinstripe Shohei. 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 Refractor. I'm tired. you tired. Jesus works. I know. You're tired. Either a big rookie or a big vet. Oliver Ortega. Blue Rayway for the Angels. Angels go into Kenneth B. Grab both them and the Dodgers in our team random. Should have another filler up on the site right now. 124 out of 150. Or at least very, very soon. I have not been a Universal in a long time. I am a. I'm not really a roller coaster guy. For stuff like that, you know, I enjoy a. You know, I enjoy like a Ferris wheel. You know. But I don't know, man. I've, I've never been a roller coaster guy. Mitch Haniger in the negative. Seattle, Harry. Bopper. It's just, and they've never really been fun to me. It's the same thing as like a scary movie. Like I'm not a scary movie guy. Just the the feeling that it gives me, like, it's just. Exactly. It's just, uh, it, like, if I want to go fast, I'll just drive in a car. From the pair, from the negative Mitch Hanniger to now the auto. Harry, double dip in here on the Mitch Hanniger and the Mariners with the Mitch Hanniger auto. Wow. They exist. We have proof. Green Speckle O'Neill Cruz short print. Wow. There we go. 58 out of 99. Pittsburgh Pirates. Jeff Thompson. It exists. Call your mothers. Call everyone you know. The rookie short prints do exist. Sitting on the bucket. Very, very nice. Jeff, congrats, man. That's a big one right there. Wow. Who'd have thought? I told we were due for something, man. We were due for a rookie something coming up for sure. Oh, excuse me. You know it's all about the boom. O'Neill Cruz Bay Bay. There we go, man. Oof. Just like that, quick and easy. Just Jake Cousins. Brew Crew. That's going to John R. Man. Let's go. Joe Flacco is the greatest QB in Jets history. He just is. I love that man. Park Hyper. So this is the O'Neill Cruz base. And we pulled a short print just a moment ago. Oof, man. Top Chrome Hobbies, baby. They've been good to us today. Man, seriously. I we they exist. We know they exist now. There are there are in fact rookie short prints out there. Man. Oh, the extended, the extended short prints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, we got an orange in that rest of our stack. Let's hope it's a good one. That's still pretty sweet, though, man. I haven't even seen one of the rookie short prints. All right. We'll actually save that one for last. So there's the Jesus Luzardo. And Teoscar Hernandez will hide our orange, the last low card in this box. 
Unless we happen to hit something even lower. Another red. Maybe a super. Nothing crazy, you know. Got a blue. Paul Goldschmidt. At the moment, your NL MVP for 2022. Paul Goldschmidt, blue. Going to the Cardinals, going to Matthew N. Nice one. Six out of 150. All right, so looking more and more like it's going to be our last auto. Nice orange auto to end this case on. What a nice little case it's been. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Thanks again. We got more Tops Chrome on the website right now, Hobbies and Jumbas. Man, I saw the, I saw the, oh, I saw the hat again. Angel Zerpa orange, another one for the Kansas City Royals. Matthew Wood with the early bird special, free spot. Get to the top prize. 22 out of 25 on the Angels there, but I thought we were that guy for a second. Still a very nice break, though. Hobby case rolling out. Let's do a little recap after I put these away. Put these where they're supposed to. And all the parallels, I, I did not get a chance to top so some of the, the higher ones, the triple-digit ones. Let's put these away, do a recap. Thanks again, y'all. Ooh, man, that O'Neill Cruz is nice, huh? We'll take one more look at it. At the end. So let's go through our hits one more time. Angel Zerpa Orange. The Walker Buer Club Threads. Gold Trent Grisham. Purple Logan Gilbert. Speckle Auto. Thank you, man. Appreciate you getting that break credit, putting it back in. It's much a try your auto is a nice one as well. Appreciate you, man. Like I said, we got more on the site right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Gold Connor Seabold. And, man, the big, big one right here. Whew. Congrats to Jeff. Green Speckle O'Neill Cruise short print out of 99. That's a monster right there, man. Whew. Thanks again, y'all. We will see you back more with more Tops Chrome, more immaculate, anything else on the site right now at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.